everyone and welcome to a very special episode on Empu TV presented to you by We Belong with regards to accounts and taxation because tax 2022 is underway which means over the next few months millions and millions of Australians are going to be running behind claiming their tax returns and i'm sure there are a lot of you just like me who want to know and understand the basics of claiming taxes because hey we are new to this let's agree and it's okay so i thought no better time than this to actually invite an expert on my show so that we are clear of what we are going to be taking next as our step with regards to accounts and taxation we have with us mr sachin from tax business solutions thank you so much mr thank you. sachin and thank you so much for giving me your time because it's very valuable thank you thanks a lot thank you so mr sachin has been in the field for more than 18 years which means he is a master so again I am I am so honored to be talking to him today um from that stage so thank you so much so mr sachin tax 2022 is underway just like i mentioned and everyone wants to know how to go about this process a lot of them have been through it a lot of people are new to this like me so i thought it is the right time that i help my audience to get this cleared uh, and hence we have you here so tell me what are the basic points that one needs to keep in mind while claiming taxes as an individual for the first time um i would like to correct a bit um, we don't claim taxes uh, we just file our tax returns yeah. because uh, that's what the everywhere where all over the world we have taxation system every government has so we file our tax return right. to ato and we claim deductions that's what the ato allows us okay. um and those deduction is simple principle is what is relevant to our income yeah um they are basically based on that yeah um and that can be if you can directly relate to those uh, income those expenses you are allowed to claim yes but ato specifically denies some deductions yeah. um uh, like for salaried people like they are or uh, sitting in office they are going to office and they using their own car just to go to office from home and come back yeah. the ato says no we are not allowing this deduction unless and until you are a tradee or you need the tools of the trade to carry on in your suit or in your car to go to the work because it is a requirement that you can't carry those bulky tools uh, over there yeah. then you are allowed to the deduction and they have specific rules about how you can claim those um, expenses um there are uh, the taxation system is very simple and very um, austrian system is very very simple um, and the the main thing is uh, the ato wants that you it's a own self disclosure Correct. you know yeah self they are self disclosure and they 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 promote you to come uh, forward yeah. and declare your tax okay. yeah um yes they have certain parameters and that's internal like uh, uh, they have uh, data sharing with the different agencies you know that's all the governments uh, do all over the world okay. you know like uh, they share the land data how much uh, the property some people people have uh, uh, the cars uh, you know dealers and all the uh, banks you know they all connected with the ato yeah. and they share data on in today's technology world they share data right, right? right. so it it is not that ato is not watching you oh, okay? okay so the businesses have uh, their uh, system of uh, like uh, the f force machine they use so, you know the the all this data is going to ato how much sales they are doing right yeah. and and um, now that data is easily available to us as well because yeah. the ato is sharing this data as well so uh, nothing uh, like as such can be hidden like basic things the core things it you knows so um, it's all about um, being honest uh, being honest you know and uh, successful uh, successfully running the business without any hurdles you yeah. know like 
um, um, uh, as I compare to the other part of the world where you have different uh, hurdles also in uh, 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 maybe the corrupt economy or whatever I'm not talking about but yeah. but as such uh, they just want you to be have a uh, integra uh, integrity yeah. and do your work honestly and uh, they have they are very helping hand you know, if you see last two years when the covid was there the government and the ato they help a lot to yeah. the businesses okay. they 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 didn't um, push them to uh, uh, pay the gst uh, you know uh, they they were very slow in yeah. following up the taxes and yeah. all yeah and they were giving back uh, yeah. the the gst and all that uh, they have paid back Definitely. to ADO. Yeah. So they did all of these things. So they are helping yeah. and they want in return something honesty. Definitely. That's it. That's so it. So just be honest by claiming not, your deductions. Yeah, no. Yeah. While filing your tax returns. While filing tax returns. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. not honest. It's, not, it's like what I would say one more thing is that I have found like many people think like um, they don't take service of accountant. Correct. You know. Uh, yeah. uh, they they say that it's, uh, we can do it. Yeah. Yes, they, you can do it. Uh, yeah. You can go to MyGov and all and they can do it. Do it with a registered tax agent, registered person. That's, that's also very important. But an accountant can help you yeah. certainly in that way. And plus, um, accountants are not accountants. They are like, um, they have a network. Yeah. They they develop a bit of uh, wisdom through their network. Yeah. Um, the client become part of that community. Yeah. You know, uh, suppose uh, any student he might be needing a migration agent. You know, mm -hmm. if you go someone with a reference, you know, it happens with us. Uh, a mortgage broker or some a lawyer or someone. It's all um, uh, in the network and. Uh, Somebody can help out with that, and uh, it's more of a uh, giving a trustworthy service, yeah. you know. Yeah. So um, I say, uh, funnily, uh, you know, in a funny way, that accountants are like RACV okay. kind of like you just a one call away, and you can ask them, you know, sir, uh, what do I do? Like in the situation, will it more beneficial, or that thing is more beneficial? Nice. So just a few points that I picked from all of this is that be honest, do your work honestly with all the integrity possible and maybe seek help from an accountant. Seek help from an accountant. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah, great. So uh, this brings to my next question wherein um, I keep discussing with my friends that, hey, listen, what can I claim as deductions if that's the right term or the yeah. right way to put it? So there are unusual expenses that we cannot avoid. Like there are supermarkets where you cannot wear footwears that are of a different color, but black. You need to wear black shoes. It's costing me $220 for a Puma, uh, you know, a proper comfortable shoe. There are work handbags. There are um, Mikey expenses or like travel expenses, but also has an ex exception that you can only claim these deductions uh, when you are traveling from one workplace to the other, right? So what are the other unusual expenses that people do not know but can claim? If you say unusual expenses, as I told you, the basic principle, uh, what ATO says is that it is relevant to our earning that income, okay? okay. It is improving our income. Like, is a study expenses if yeah. it is relevant to your work and um, it is maintaining your work or it is improving your work yeah. that study expenses you can claim okay. from this is like a bit of unusual you can say but it, it is, they can claim yeah. um, it's not that you first do the study and if you do the job then then you can't claim that study but when you are on the work and you are studying that time and relevant to your work Okay. Uh, you know, that you can claim. Like uh, some certifications of in IT industry, they keep on uh, developing themselves. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, some industry, especially professional industry, like in accounting also, we have uh, CPD, uh, you know, continuing professional development. They keep on doing those hours and they pay um, for those. That kind of things you can claim certainly in your um, tax. 
Okay. Uh, the the Sorry, shoes. Sir, can I just cut yeah. you there just yeah. to yeah. have clarity? So anything that is related to my field of study that is costing me for work, yes. I can claim. Uh, anything relating to your work, if you are, it is relevant to that study. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. the study related relevant to that work, work. Okay. either it maintains that level of income or it it has a improvement on in your income. Okay. Yeah. 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 Then Understood. you can claim those expenses. Yeah. Cool. And um, like you say, black uh, shoes and all. I would uh, just put in a different perspective, like. If we will be sitting in home, whether we will not wear any shoes or anything, you know. So, the black shoes, if it is like specific shoes, like non-slippery shoes or steel capped shoes, certainly you can claim because specifically they are protection of your feet and you should not fall. Oh, yeah, okay. right. So this is this, this is now. this is protective shoes, right? Yeah, Pro yeah. yeah. Then it is allowed. Okay, safety shoes. Actually. Safety shoes, mm. actually. So, they, if they are allowed. Mm. Um, you have a high vis jacket because it is for your safety. Somebody can see you if you are working at night or, you know, something. Then those expenses are allowed. But the normal wear, if you say, oh, I am wearing a, sh a suit for my work, that's not allowed because they say that it's a normal uh, wear, okay. uh, normal wear. Okay. Yeah. So, what are the other expenses that you know we can actually claim? Um, see, it, it depends upon the work in the industry. You know, uh -huh. like nurses, they pay for their um, uh, their uh, membership fees. You know, they have union fees and all that. Th those expenses are allowed in those industries. Now, there are um, the tradies; they have their work car. Um, those expenses are allowed over there. Um, they had need to keep uh, now in uh, car as well they have a some uh, ATU has a system of logbook uh, either you claim on the logbook like how many kilometers it has run yeah. and what purpose they have run yeah. and based on that they want to say that you know these cars are like your private purposes or for uh, work purposes mm -hmm. and uh, in that way you can uh, allocate those um, uh, expenses and claim uh, those expenses. Uh, you need to make only for logbook if the similar kind of work is going on only 12 weeks and that 12 weeks uh, is available uh, remain relevant for next four years right yeah if right. the work uh, circumstance is not changing right. then the three only for three months you need to keep the logbook I and mean, that is relevant for your three four years so that's what it is uh, okay. system it's very pretty simple but it's logical so that we can prove to you that we have um, claim this on this basis. Okay. Sir, I have also heard that any charity that you do about two dollars, you can claim. Is that true? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, depend on the what kind of charity. There are specific organizations which are authorized by the ATO that they are registered with ATO that um, these are authorized charity. They okay. give you that certificate. So, that, authorized charity organizations. Yes, yes. Like, um, uh, uh, like Red Cross or uh, these kind Salvation of organizations, Salvation Army. Army, and then all that. They, they are uh, specifically authorized. But it is not like uh, if you go to a um, um, church or somewhere and you put they put the money. You can you can give the charity to someone as well, like you see on the street. But that is uh, not the charity because they are not authorized. Uh, but specific organizations, you can always claim. Yeah. yeah. So there's Winnie's, there's Salvation Army, there's. Yeah. Um, Sometimes there is a school development fund in uh, specific schools as well, and okay. uh, they, they are also authorized. Yeah. Uh, and they give the certificate. And yeah. in, 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 in that certificate, it is specifically mentioned as well that yeah. it, you can claim it in ATO, yeah. and uh, we can claim that. Right. Yeah. So just for clarity, if you have made a charity for more than $2 at the Salvation Army or Winnie's, um, Woolworths, Coles, you can definitely claim. No. Because I think Woolworths the, the, and Coles also have these charity that they do. Uh, yeah, but, for but not unlike where you put the coins, some coins at the ca checking out counter. No, 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 no. Actually, they uh, yeah. give us like hand yeah. out a receipt or yeah, like a, a receipt or something. Card. Yeah, yeah, they should yeah. be yeah. authorized. So that's yeah. probably you yeah. definitely yeah. can. There's be specific organizations. Yes, are. yes. Yeah. So these comes during special occasions. Yes. Uh, and yeah. that's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Wonderful. So, 
bringing to my next question, sir, now that we've spoken so much about tax returns for individuals, let's talk about organizations. Now, there are tiny organizations with um, an employee set up of uh, five people, 10 people, 15 people. Let's go to a mid-range organization. So definitely there is a set of people or like a team of two or three members claiming tax returns for the specific organization, right? Now, what are the points that they need to keep in mind while doing it for their organization? See, uh, when you say like an individual and you're running uh, now into a business, mm -hmm. um, setting up a right structure is very important, okay? Um, uh, we have in Australia uh, company structure. We have a trust structure. Yeah. Uh, many people don't know about trust structure. Uh, uh, recently, there is a more knowledge about it, but um, we used to see like five, six years ago, there is not much knowledge about trust, you know. So, but if it is a, um, so different, uh, depends upon the circumstances, setting up a structure and it's not um, setting up by themselves, okay. Take help of a some professional in this. Uh, I think I again say that accountant really plays a very big role uh, in setting up your business because what the saying is, if you um, heard of good beginning half done. Definitely. Yeah. So good beginning half done means like if you set up something uh, because what happens is when we change the structure in between. Suppose we take from company to trust. Um, most of uh, many banks they look for two years GST, two years uh, old ABM, and when we change your structure from company to trust, then ABN is again issued for the trust. So again, what you are doing the business for last say one year or two years, yeah. your time has all again gone, and yeah. so they. Uh, Sometimes it is uh, hard, though sometimes banks get convinced also that the same business is running in a different structure, but they look for uh, the continuity of the structure. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Um, the structure is a very important thing. Then um, now um, ATO has uh, different um, systems like employees. Earlier we used to give group certificate to employees. Now it is no more that system. Yeah. yeah. We have a single touch payroll, STP system, single touch payroll. We are all, every time we are issuing a pay slip to uh, employees, yeah. we are, uh, you know, it is going to ATO Definitely. straight away. Um, many people think uh, like we, if we are paying to some person, individual um, on ABN, yeah. yeah, then they can, um, you know, uh, they need not to pay super or something because they are paying to ABN. There is no specific contract with the, those ABN contractors um, that uh, they are working on ABN. In ATO's eye, they are deemed employees. Yeah. If audit comes of those organizations tomorrow, then ATO super audit comes and the uh, ATO will certainly say that you need to pay uh, super to these people. Okay, they are covered in it. Yeah, even the directors they uh, take the salary from the company, yeah. and that uh, they are also required to pay super to themselves. Correct. So uh, that's all the things you know they need to be mindful of what okay. they uh, are doing. And as I told you that um, they everyone is do, <laughs> especially after COVID, the cash transaction are uh, a bit less. Uh, I'm yeah. not saying completely stop, but okay. they are lesser and lesser. Yeah. And, and depends upon the where uh, in the industry and the location of the business yeah. as well. Um, some businesses uh, still have cash and some some may not. But this F course and you know Uber income and all that they are reporting to ATO. Yeah. You know they yeah. are, they uh, and that income is already available in yeah. the uh, ATO portal for us that you have made this much of sales. You yeah. can't say that you know we have not done this kind of sales. Right. Right. Yeah. So there is no point of hiding. <laughs> no need to hiding. There are other tax ways, uh, you know, uh, you can uh, save on taxes. ATO allows you, like if you heard of in pandemic, they said that we are allowing a deduction of about certain limit, you know, 30,000 depreciation or 100,000 depreciation. Oh, you know, it's and they have straight away allowed. Um, yeah. uh, so there are other ways if you are, if you need assets for your business, you can certainly buy those assets for the business and you can take straight away deductions for your business. So there are other ways of uh, saving tax and uh, managing your tax right. uh, rather than uh, uh, 
डूइंग इन अ डिफरेंट वे आई वुड से आप रादर व्हाई टू व्हाई शुड वी अवॉइड इट्स जस्ट बीइंग एंड यूजिंग पोलाइट वर्ड्स इन द अदर वे इज बेसिकली चीटिंग आई वुड आई वुड नॉट लाइक टू अवॉइड इट यूजिंग डोंट डू इट नॉट डू इट नाउ दैट वी हैव स्पोकन अबाउट इंडिविजुअल्स एंड देन ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एंड ट्रस्ट्स टेल मी हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज इट फॉर समवन to file their tax returns that's the right way to put it i'm assuming um through an expert a tax expert how significant it is because there are so many deductions that people uh, you know overlook and do not have a chance to or they think that it's not allowed but at the end of the day they come to know that it's allowed so how significant it is for them to go through a tax expert or a tax agent so called see it is a um, uh, they did some calculation as per statistics in um, australia that a um, uh, lot of people lose their deductions which is otherwise allowable but they do their tax returns by themselves okay yeah. this is there, there is a um, some numbers there oh, statistics? yeah statistics is there I missed so yeah, yeah some so like but it's not about deducting tax it's yeah. is, is claiming your uh, you know uh, uh taxation or deductions and all that it's not it's 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 about getting into re- remain in contact with okay. someone okay who uh because i feel personally that accountants over a period develop a financial wisdom okay you know yeah. because suppose i have i have got 500 clients yeah. okay i know what they are doing in terms of money yeah. right so um i know what what, uh, what is happening you know and we providing solution and over a, over a period over a period yeah. and there is a something so some sort of i'm saying a little bit um, guidance as a big brother can yeah. help them to achieve their own financial goals definitely that's what i mean to say you definitely. know so i think getting into a like a, it's a community mm. you are getting into just like you mentioned a network a network you yeah. are getting and every accountant or every like person has this kind of network yeah and i think they need it they need it yeah we all need like we a all network. need it yeah yeah because um, the way um, a lot of people are from our communities from uh, migrants the way we we used to run uh, our work over there or our business is a bit different here so right. it's a new country and you know we need to all prosper and indians are very um, they are they have a high level of integrity all over the world they are good performing people wherever they are uh, migrated they are doing really well Definitely. so a little bit of guidance seriously um, can can make them uh, better that's Definitely. what i mean to say give a pat on your back all the indians <laughs> out there but so uh, yeah surely sir so for yourself also oh sure 100% <laughs> do it, do it. Um, yeah so bringing me to my next question sir now that we've spoken so much about you know how important it is to actually file our tax returns through an agent or a, an accountant or a tax expert um there are something called as occupancy costs if i'm not wrong and after the pandemic uh the post pandemic period has actually proved that even today 67% of employees in australia work from home uh which costs them to use their system be it electricity be it rents that lets them use their furniture lighting heating uh there is uh, rents there is absolutely everything if something happens to their laptop or computers they need to fix it at the end of the day they are running their business there are so many people running their online business from home so something called occupancy costs and people working from home um, obviously their bills are going to be higher than people going to work because they do not bother about how much the electricity at workplace but at home you definitely do so how can they go about it people working from home considering that 67% is still a very large number see um, even before pandemic in uh, certain industries especially in the professional like it industry or um, um, in uh, some other industry especially the ladies always like sometimes one or two days uh, yeah. uh, work from home because they are certain obligations 
So um, earlier also the ATO used to allow us uh, certain uh, at certain rate uh, the uh, number of hours we are working uh, multiply by the hours okay. they were apply, uh, they were allowing it. Um, in, uh, when the pandemic started, um, they allow us even more deduction, say eighty cent per hour. You know, and they they said that, it, and they have certain calculations. You know, they did some calculation on based on that they given some rate. You know, um, do you say that there is more leniency in that process? Hundred percent. You know, okay. during the pandemic, okay. and uh, they know that you know everybody is sitting at home and they are doing the work, and if you are buying some uh, table or chair specifically for work you are setting up setting up a proper like workstation they are allowing uh, deductions you know if you have if the company provided the laptop that's fine if you have purchased your own laptop then they are allowing deduction for that on you know depreciation they are allowing every year um, or for those expenses so they they are there is a deductions available but as i come back to the point that it depends upon industry to industry, uh, relevant to the work where uh, we can claim, you know, what we can claim. Perfect. Yeah, like a simple example, like uh, you go to the work and but you uh, um, ask for uh, you purchase some mask or sanitizer specifically for your for your work and employer has not provided it. Okay. Um, suddenly, because it is relevant to your work. Certainly, you can claim a, ta a taxi driver or like an Uber driver. He has to maintain certain sanitization and everything, you know, in the car. Even water so, bottles. Water, bot water bottles. Water yeah. so bottles. He is giving to their patterns, you know, who is coming in the car. Yeah. Certainly, that can be allowed. But it should be relevant. That It's very simple logic, you know, yeah. relevant to the work. It should be so, sensible. Sensible, logical, you know. Yeah. You, it doesn't mean uh, that you are... Um, um, uh, or I used to, um, like you say, I, I, I'm working on my uh, bedroom. I'm, uh, I have purchased a mattress, and that's why I want to claim it to number taxes. It's no, not that, you it. know. <laughs> it's a, it's a proper workplace. Yeah. Table, chair, certainly it is very logical. Yeah. Don't very do logical. Very logical. Yeah. <laughs> if you're doing something <laughs> of the example that Mr. Yeah. Sachin provides, do, yeah. do it. Yeah. You're not right. Yeah. Yeah. But so it should be relevant to work. Yes, yeah. So just a few points from what we've spoken. Be honest. Do your work at its best, and there is nothing to hide. There is nothing to be scared about. No, nothing to scare nothing about. To nothing to be scared yeah. about. The ATO already yeah. has all the data, all the spending, most of the information the they have yeah. that is going through. Yeah. And then go through an agent, an accountant, or a yeah. tax expert. Yeah. Um, so now that Mr. Sachin is from uh, Tax Business Solutions, would yeah. you like to tell more about what you do exactly? Yes, we are um, a tax agent uh, in public practice uh, for last uh, seven years. And uh, before that, I also have industry um, experience. Like I, was, I used to work in Dubai and then, you know, migrated here. Nice. It's a long journey. We I used to work in Delhi as well mm -hmm. before that. So, uh, yes, so as I said, uh, Indians are uh, doing good uh, all over the world. And that's what um, uh, our journey started. And... Um, uh, we help people. We are very passionate about helping people, finding solution for them, and uh, um, get into like uh, home loans as well. And you, uh, in a, we set up the structures, we set up the business uh, 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 company structure. I certainly recommend that if you anybody is doing uh, business um, and they have uh, a property as well, yeah. as some assets must do business at least in company structure because it is even for asset protection as well it's very good okay so that's a different uh, part but um, uh, must have at least company structure and uh, there are other structures are also available certainly um, need help of uh, your account accountant uh, yeah. that's certainly useful uh, beat anyone but remain connected with someone industry person with, uh, who we have all the intention of growing your business Totally. We have all the same because what my, uh, what I say in a different perspective. If you grow, I'll grow along with you. Totally, totally. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. So my have intention of growing yeah. you guys. Definitely. That's it. Sure, sure. I think uh, there are a lot of points that our audience and people like me can pick. Uh, up from this interview thank yeah. you so yeah. much and uh, i think it's been pleasure talking to you and i'm sure there are so many out there who have got their basics cleared yeah. through this interview yeah. that's so much specific to taxation and accounts 
Thanks so much again, Mr. Sachin. I thank really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you for your time. It means a lot to me and really appreciate it. Thank you. That was Mr. Sachin from Tax BS. If you want to be networked and connected, there he is right there to help you. Uh, I will come up with another episode with another guest very soon. Until then, this is Sapna signing off. Adios. Amigos. Thank you.